Hey everyone, I'm here to show you two gray human hair wigs from In Vogue Medical Wigs and Beyond. She is having a special Halloween drop for October and she is going to have some gray wigs available. I have two to show you today and there'll be others being shown by other people on um, Facebook and Instagram. These are the only two that I have to show. These are both named Sylvia, but there are some slight differences, and I'll tell you all about them. So if you want to know more about these gray human hair wigs, there is urgency, though, because they're available Saturday. There's only one of each of these that I'm going to show you. They will go very quickly. So you need to be prepared to get on her website right at 8 a.m. if you're in the market for gray human hair. I'll tell you all about them. on my head is named Sylvia and so is the other gray piece that I will show you but there are some slight color differences so these are gray donor hair luxury Mongolian donor hair and they are beautiful now the wigs though the hair does have some texture to it because it's gray hair just like gray hair on your head has more texture to it than when your hair wasn't gray but let's take a look at this one so this one's been curled and the other one is straight let me take let me show you all around and i'll show you the cap now i'm not selling these i'm just helping kirsten out because uh, many of you guys mentioned to me that you would love to find some gray human hair, but you just never see it. I passed that comment on along to Kirsten, and she has been looking for ways to carry some grays in her store. And that's why I'm lucky enough to be able to show these two to you guys. So this one is uh, what's called a T-top. So I'll take the cap off, but you've got a more narrow parting space on top, and then you've got all of this on the front. Now, the reason you can see all this lace is because you will cut the lace to match your hairline. That is very common with human hair wigs. So if you're not familiar with human hair, only with uh, you know higher end synthetic pieces where you don't have to cut the lace, you often have to cut your own lace on human hair wigs. And the lace is just a little bit different than on the ready to wear wigs. This isn't a, an education video though. I'm just showing you guys these wigs. So we've got lace that goes all the way down to almost to the ear on both sides. So you will get all of that space to do pull the hair back, do updos. It is such a good lace front. Very realistic. Like I said, this is gray donor hair. So it's absolutely very natural. Now with this uh, parting space, you've got all of this space and then it does narrow a little bit toward the top here. So if you tend to like deep side parts. You're not going to be able to do a super deep side part, but this is enough space to do a decent side part on either side or a center part. There's all that lace and so you will cut that to match your own hairline. There's pressure clips on the ear tabs. If you'd like them for security, you can cut them off. I always do on my human hair wigs. We've got a little bit of an extended nape and you've got your um, hook adjusters. The rest of the wig is closed wefting, which is wonderful. Let me pause, I'll throw the other wig on and tell you about that one. Here I am. This one is also called Sylvia. They both have the same name, but this one is a five by five parting space, which I'll show you when I take the cap off. The color on this one is just slightly different as well. I'll give you guys a little lowdown on the color in just a second, but let's take a look at this one. Because this is human hair, you can wear it straight, you can curl it, just like this one where you could curl it, take the curl out, whatever you want it to do. It's a beautiful long bob. Look at that beautiful cut. It's so awesome. I just love this. If this were in another color, I'd be begging her to let me buy it. So we've got that beautiful lace front. Again, lace for you to cut. This is a little bit shorter lace than that one, but it really doesn't matter because you're cutting it off. Look how natural that lace front is. She is the queen of illusion lace fronts. She does such a good job on her lace fronts. They are so seamless and natural. If you wanted to pull this back, you totally could. This one is much narrower though. You've got only five inches here, which means if you're gonna pull it back, you see how you can see that transition? You just wanna make sure you leave some of the hair down to hide that transition. Let me pause you for a second here. 
If you've been following me for any period of time, you know I'm going through a change and I was having a hot flash. I wanted to open up a window. It's really, really rainy out right now, so I can't get outside and show you these colors outside, but I will do my best to describe them to you. Let's take a look at this cap. So there's your parting space. So you've got a wider parting space on the top at five inches, but narrower on the bottom. So that, that's the biggest difference between these two. You've got the ear tabs with the clips. This one has, and, and this snape is a little soft where the other one was um, a little rougher. And then it's all closed wefted. I would say that this one is a little bit, it's hard to tell if it's longer because this one is curled. They feel real similar though. So the color difference on the Sylvia with the five by five parting space, the color, it has just a little bit of a kind of a brownish tint to it almost. It's salt and pepper, but when you hold it next to this, there's a little bit of a brownish hue, whereas this one doesn't have that brownish hue. They're very close though. That's the biggest difference. It's barely perceptible unless you see them side by side. That's um, the only reason I noticed it. Otherwise, I thought they were exactly the same. So Sylvia, the name of both of these, you've got the five by five parting space. That's the one that's styled straight. And then you've got the T-top parting space, which gives you um, parting ear to ear, lace front, but a little bit more narrow on the top. They're both gorgeous. They'll be available on the In Vogue site on Saturday, October 29th at 8 a.m. There's only one of each of these, so you'll have to be there quick to get them. I'm not selling these. I can't give you pricing. I can't give you any more detail than I've just shared. I'm doing Kirsten and you guys a favor by sharing these. I'm getting nothing for doing this, but I'm helping out my wig sisters, and that's plenty. Thanks for watching, you guys. Good luck if you want one.